Hello, welcome to our second lesson in um, uh, Introduction to Maya, Navigating the Viewport. So what's a viewport? A viewport is actually this window here. This is where you actually, um, uh, this is actually where all your scenes happen. So there's a way you can have an orthographic um, view of the viewport by actually pressing the space key on your keyboard. That's your, that, that would be your orthographic view. And to bring in whatever view you want, whether it's the top, um, front, or side, all you have to do is put your mouse key on the on the grid and press the space key. That will come on there. And uh, the same applies to the rest of them. Front view, same thing. Put your key, um, your mouse cursor on there and press the space key. Yep, it, uh, that's how it is with all of them. And uh, going back to the perspective view. There's a way we can actually navigate through this view because it's a 3D view. There's a way we can navigate through this view. And on a, if you're using a Windows, all you have to press is the Alt and whatever key that I'm going to call out. If you're using the Mac keyboard, you press the Option key and whatever key I'm going to call out. So bear in mind that Windows, you press the Alt key because I'm using a Mac right now. Whenever, whenever I say Option key, if you're on, on Windows, know that it's actually Alt, not Option, because uh, Windows doesn't have Option. So here we go. M uh, Mac users, press the Alt key and uh, left click on your um, on your mouse to actually rotate through your view. Make sure you're using a three-button mouse. This will help you rotate through your view, and um, to actually pan through your view. What you have to do is press the Option key and Middle key. That will help you pan through your view. And to actually zoom in and out, Option and um, right uh, right click on your on your mouse. That to zoom in and out. And again, if you're using a three button uh, mouse with a with a scroll <coughs> with a scroll in the middle. You, you can also zoom in and out by actually scrolling in and out, like that. Again, you can also navigate, you can actually rotate through your, your scene with this um, box on here. You can click on the left, zoom out, or the front, the top, or the bottom, as well as the back and if you want to go back to your pre to your um, to your previous uh, default screen all you have to do is press the this home icon here it will take you back to your default um, your default view so <clears throat> as you can see on here there's a uh, graphical representations at the bottom as well as uh, options at the top so uh, if we had to if we had to move this one, let's see. If if we had to move this this um dog left and we clicked on view, then we look on a previous view. Let's bear with me. Let's see. If we had to click on view, go to previous view. It will take us back to the previous view that we just did, like just a step back. Nothing more, nothing more, nothing less. Just a step back and previous view. Next view. Oh, let's see. If we, let's say we in that view, we'll go back to there, previous view. It will take us to the previous view that we just looked at. These are cool functions. They don't make that much... Uh, you, they, they don't seem to be that much of use at the moment because this is just a simple uh, simple character but with more complex character this this feature becomes more useful if you look at um, at uh, frame all this only means uh, bringing our model into our into our viewport into our animated uh, view, into our viewport so Again, there's a lot of them here. There's a lot. There's, let's let's look at um, let's look at shading. Okay, 
if you look at shading this hardware texturing here that we can click on and off um okay now let's see okay let's say this let me unclick hardware texturing there's x-ray here okay this x-ray that puts our animation into an x-ray mode that way if we this is more more useful if you're actually modeling a character from um modeling a character from guidelines maybe you've got a picture that can, that you want to model from you can put in x-ray view and actually be able to see the picture properly with your models so that's why it's mainly used in and you can actually access the x-ray view from you can actually uh, access it from the shading window sh uh, shading drop down view or from here x-ray view take it back to to normal view let's look at these buttons this is um select camera again this will make more sense in uh when we start doing the rendering uh topic or animation topics this one camera attribute attributes only gives you the controls of your cam of your camera that way you're in full control let's say you've got a um you want to match up your animation with your real footage you can actually um match up your animation camera with your real life camera so that way people uh, your, your the audi audience doesn't spot the difference you know this one is just a bo bookmark whatever it is that you're working you you um working on if we look at this one, grid, this one will actually turn your grid on and off. This one, film gate, it shows you the safe zones of your film, that the actual view that's going to be rendered. You know that th this is the only, this is what's going to be, re let me close this one. It shows you what's going to be rendered, okay? In your perspective view. This one, this one um, shows you what's going to render. This one just shows you the, um, the image size, Let's bring back the grid shows you the uh, rendering size, um, the re rendering space size and um, this one takes your, mo your uh, model into into wireframe takes it back to, um, to normal view this one smooth shading this is just a button to turn smooth shading on and off wireframe to shade like that so this one just puts the wireframe on top of the um, the real shaded region see this one textured this one makes more sense when you start doing the animations otherwise uh, for now all you have to know is uh, it's not of use at the moment but when you get into animation we'll be able to actually use the texture the textured feature and um, let's turn this one back uh, off um, again this is just a, a shortcut of the of your um, of your extra feature, you can either, either access it access it here or there. To, um, it's mainly used when modeling or when you actually want to see what's behind a, an opaque um, an opaque uh, model or an, an opaque object. So, and this one again, um, X-ray joints. You you be able to see your joints. You know, you may, may able to see them or make them make make them opaque or transparent. That's uh, pretty much what this is. So that's uh, pretty much what uh, all we need to know about um, navigating through our viewport. And um, this, I've shown you navi how to navigate through our viewport, as well as shortcuts to access our commonly used um, commands. So why don't we dive re right into the next video and uh, learn some more stuff about animation. Please don't uh, forget to subscribe and um, comment if you've got any comments. Thanks, bye.